Do not put salt at the entrance of your door or at the entrance of your house. I see many videos coming up putting salt at the entrance of your door. This is witchcraft. Witchcraft. This is diabolical. This attracts the devil. This is a property of the devil. And by so doing, you are bringing problems to your life. If you think I'm joking, keep on doing this and see what will happen to you negatively. It is not everything you see online that you do. I'm here to guide you on the things you should not do. I'm not against you praying with salt because it was done in 2 Kings 2 verse 20, but not to sprinkle it around your house. As what? As what? That is fetish. Stop doing that if you have been doing this because you are inviting evil to your house. You are most welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. May God bless you. My name is Henrietta and I share with you powerful spiritual tips. I'm here to guide you, teach you, and show you what to do to attract your blessing. So if you like this video, please subscribe and turn on the bell notification beside the subscribe button to get updates. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and God will bless you and if you are already subscribed to you my regular viewers may God bless you I always pray for all of you and God is in charge of your case you will get your miracle soonest in the name of Jesus amen now back to today's topic if you are going to pray with salt you can pray with salt and just bless the salt and add to your bathing water to bath this is one way to pray with salt and when you are doing that do not idolize the salt. Don't make it seem as if the salt is now your God. There are many channels. They make it seem like salt is their God. They make it seem like the salt is doing the thing. Just like you pray on food, you pray on salt also. You pray on any other thing. Even the cream you use, the clothes you put on, you are supposed to pray on these things. Yes, but not for you to sprinkle salt around your house. The only thing you can sprinkle around your house is anointing oil because it is in the Bible. Blessed oil is biblical. But when you are sprinkling salt, that salt is now your protection. What about God? Where is it written in the Bible that you should sprinkle salt around your house, around your compound? No. The best you can do is to add salt to your body water just like Elisha did. He sprinkled salt in the sea that was caused and prayed to God and God healed the sea and healed the land because he prayed to God. But when you are sprinkling salt, this is salt. If I start sprinkling salt around my house, that means I am making this salt my protection. When you are saying sprinkle salt around your house to drive away witches and wizards, then what about God? What is the duty of God if salt, if salt like this can drive away witches or wizards? If salt can bring you money and bring you blessing, then why serving God? Why not just serve salt? Anything you are idolizing becomes your God. If you put salt at the entrance of your door, you are opening door for evil to come in because that alone, that act of putting salt at the entrance of your door is unbiblical. See, when you are inviting the devil, you are inviting problems, you are inviting sickness, it is dangerous. So be careful. It is not all spiritual things that you do. Even if you try it, you see that things are changing. Watch and see what will happen. God is against that. You don't sprinkle salt at the entrance of your house. It is diabolical. When you do that, you are saying devil come in. Because of course, you can't do this to bring God in. God comes in a very holy environment. You can just go to the entrance of your door and pray without anything. Oh Lord, I pray on this entrance of my door in the name of Jesus. And moreover, when you are praying or sprinkling anything evil at the entrance of your door, you are not pursuing evil. You can't pursue witches or wizards because witches or wizards don't come in through the entrance of your door. It is funny and fetish and childish. Evil powers appear and disappear from anywhere, from the tea air, from your ceiling, from everywhere. The devil does not need a door to come in. The devil does not come physically. So what are you putting the salt at the entrance of your door for? Is the devil going to come in through your door and knock, 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 I am the devil? These are funny things. 
if anything evil is going to be done in your house, there is no particular place they pass through. When you are talking about evil spirits, they can appear and disappear, come in form of cockroaches, lizards, or even just come in straight. They can even enter you as a human being. Because many people don't understand things of the spirits. That is why they make such funny videos. Who are you trying to drive by sprinkling salt? That woman that is a witch can appear and disappear through any object in your house. The best way to prevent witchcraft attack is to go down your knees and pray to God. You read Psalm 35, read Psalm 7, and begin to destroy every evil. Pray to God to drive out every evil. God has the power, even without using anything. But it is advisable you sprinkle anointing oil. Just get your olive oil. Take it to an ordained pastor, an ordained bishop, and also pray on it yourself. Oil is biblical because even in the Bible, God said, when you are sick, go to the elders. Let them anoint you and pray for you. It is biblical, of course. So normally when you have olive oil or your oil, you take it to your pastor or any ordained man or woman of God or any oil like that. Let them bless it. You pray with it. And while you are doing this, don't do it as if the oil is what is doing it. That is the problem. You are going to pray on the oil just like you pray on your food. And tell God to protect you, to guide you. Oh Lord, bless this oil. Oh Lord, as I sprinkle this, let your protection rest in my family. Send your angels to protect us. You read Psalm 91. These are powerful prayers for protection. Only God can protect you. There is nothing that can chase away evil from your house beside God. Salt cannot do it. The moment you start putting salt at the entrance of your door, you have a property of the devil. You are welcoming the devil to your house. Because doing anything that is not biblical, you are inviting the devil. And when you invite the devil, you invite problems. Many of you, all in the name of seeking for solution, you have brought problems to your life. Because the moment you start doing things that is against the will of God, you are destroying yourself and compounding your problem. So please, all of these spiritual exercises you are being asked to do, make sure you pray over it before you do it so that you will not put yourself in more trouble and welcome devil, evil to your house. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. If you like this video, if you are going to stick to my advice, subscribe and make sure the bell notification is turned on. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. God bless you.